Howdy folks, Josh here with The Weekend Angler. Another short tip Saturday video for you today. And in this video, we're going to be tying the rig that I use when I'm fishing for skipjack. I've had a few people ask me about this one, so I'm going to walk you through it today. Alright guys, we're going to start working on the skipjack rig here. This is what I use most of the time when I'm out catching skipjack. So we'll tell you guys the story of the three little jigs. We're going to take this first jig head, it doesn't matter which one it is. This is going to be at the bottom of our line. And what we will do is take and use an improved clinch knot to tie that jig Trim the tag in, leave you, you know, leave you just a hair there. Now, we're going to go to the other end of our leader line here. And we'll go ahead and put us another jig head on there. How far apart the jig heads are is completely up to you. We're going to go somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, six or seven inches. So what we're going to do, we're going to hold these two lines. We're going to bring them together and create a loop. We're going to go about probably a two inch diameter loop here. Now what we'll do, we'll hold both ends, pinch them, and where the lines cross, you're just going to reach through and start rotating the lines over each other. And do that about six about six turns now doing that created a loop so we're going to bring the jig head through there and you guys can't see this but I'm, what I'm going to do I'm going to put that jig head I'm going to bite down on that jig head just to hold it in place and then I'm going to pull the two lines apart and then I'll bring it back once I get this started here holding that in place basically forms that that loop there let's go ahead pull that down on itself and then what you've got that's called a dropper loop and now what you have is a series of three jig heads all tied to this 17 pound mainline the last step that we have to do here there's the end of our line I'm going to take this little bitty barrel swivel here and I'm going to tie that barrel swivel onto our line using an improved clinch knot. Pull, snug it up, and trim the tag. So there we have it guys. Now the reason that I tie a barrel swivel onto these when I'm tying these rigs is it allows me to keep these inside a rig wrap box because if you've ever fished for skipjack before they like extremely rocky areas and you are going to bust off quite often. So what we can do is we'll take Start working our jig heads through there. Bring that around and around. Get everything together. And now we can store some of these. And guys, if I know I'm going skipjack fishing, I usually tie me a half dozen or so of these things. Different weights of jig head. That way I, no matter what the current's doing when I get down there I could usually uh, get a hold of some fish. Alright guys one of the other advantages of using a barrel swivel when you're tying these rigs is this is 17 pound red cage and monofilament but the main line on my skipjack rod is 30 pound braid so what I do I attach a 
snap swivel to the braid and then when I'm out there fishing all I have to do is take attach that there and when I get snagged because it is going to happen I could pull 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 and either my snap swivel will open up and I'll lose all of my skip back rig or the monofilament will break and I'll lose all my skipjack rig. But the fact that I'm using 17 pound mono, a lot of the time what will happen is whichever jig happens to be snagged, that hook will open up, pull free. And when you get it back, you just take your pliers, bend it back into a rough shape of a hook, and you're good to go again. But this method right here keeps you from busting your main line over and over and over and allows you to change your rigs relatively quickly. All right, guys, there you have it. Like I said, that is the rig that I use 99% of the time whenever I'm fishing for skipjack. And with just those few modifications, the rig wrap case and the barrel swivel, and then using a heavier main line than your rig is tied on on your skipjack rod, it'll help you get back into ball game quicker and it's going to put more skipjack in your cooler, which is going to put more catfish in your boat. So guys, as always, I want to thank you for watching my videos. If you have any questions at all, leave me a comment down below. And if you have something you'd like to see on Short Tip Saturday, leave it down in the comment section. And you may get to see your name in an upcoming video when I address the tip that you're asking about. So guys, that's all I have for this one. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And uh, until next time. We'll catch you out on the water. Appreciate you watching the Weekend Angler.